Are we ready? So, I couldn't find a trumpet and I couldn't find a fanfare sound effect. Anyway, <laughs> that was meant to be a fanfare because we have our very first birthday shout out. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, I can't sing. Sorry. Happy birthday, Ellie. Hope you are having an amazing day. Um, it is Ellie's birthday and Ellie is Woolly Ellie over on our Ravelry thread. She's quite active over there. So I hope you will all join me in wishing Ellie a very happy birthday. Maybe you could leave some birthday wishes for Ellie to read in the comments below. Yeah, I can't sing. <laughs> Sorry, Ellie, I probably completely ruined your birthday. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogtober day five. As you can see, I'm already sl starting to become slightly unhinged. <laughs> My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video, along with links for places um, that you can click on to support the channel should you wish to do so. Welcome into Vlogtober Day 5. Um, for the most part, I am cheating a little bit today. I recorded a video a couple of days ago um, chatting about what I'm going to be making in October, my October making plans. Um, so that will follow shortly. Um, but before we get stuck into that, I invite a Yarn and Yarns community shout out. Um, so today, um, I would like to give a big shout out to the lovely Kim. Um, Kim has the Blue Cherub 82, I think. I'm not sure if it's just Blue Cherub or Blue Cherub 82, but I'll link her YouTube channel below. Um, Kim is a crocheter extraordinaire. Um, she makes gorgeous blankets and amigurumis. So if you are a big fan of crochet, you should definitely go and check Kim out. Um, I know a few of you found me via Kim, kindly given me um, some shout outs um, in the past. So there may be uh, a lot of you who are already aware of Kim and some of you who are here um, watching because of Kim. So thank you so much, Kim. That's up plenty of um, videos with lots of lovely crochet content. She also quite often does a vlog every day at various points during the month so a little bit like vlogtober um, she just vlogged every day in September so um, those videos are so lovely she chats about what she's making um, along with what's been happening um, in her day and it's like um, sitting down to have a cuppa with a friend when you watch Kim's videos so um, if you're not already following Kim then I do hope that you will click on the link below and maybe leave a comment on one of her videos and if you like what you see when you head over to Kim's channel um, maybe you will subscribe to and if you do leave a comment then please let her know that I've sent you over let's give Kim some yarn and yarns community love right so I'm going to hand over to Angela of the past and she's gonna waffle for quite some time <laughs> grab a cuppa you have been warned <laughs> making plans for October hey so I'm here to pick my um, October projects list. Um, I wasn't going to do my dice game again, I thought it might be something I pop in every once in a while, but I actually had a few people pop into my message box and say, please can you do the dice game again because it was so much fun. So I am going to do it again, um, but it's going to be on a slightly paired back basis because I have a few projects that I really have to work on um, this month. So I've got a test knit um, shawl that I need to complete or I don't need to complete it, the end date has been moved to November but I need to make a good start on it. Um, I've also got my mother-in-law's uh, birthday socks that I need to make. Um, I really want to finish the dude, I want to start a crochet project and um, also I want to make something for our Vlogtober knit along. Um, so what I'm planning to do is start by rolling the dice four times, um, so that would give me a total of, I think that makes about nine projects to work on throughout the month. Um, last month I managed to work on seven, so um, I'd have to make sure I switch things around a little bit more often than I did last month um, to squeeze those in. However, um, if when I do my first four rolls, um, one of those kind of extra have to projects um, meets the prompt um, then I might roll a couple more times so that I get um, a nice mix of the things that I have to work on and a few things that are kind of just for fun um, so hopefully that will make sense but um, we shall go for it and yeah hopefully it will be clear as we get going so time to roll the dice 
I just switched the camera around to start rolling and then I realised there was one other thing that I wanted to, to share with you uh, before we get rolling. Um, after the last uh, video that I popped up choosing my projects this way, I had a couple of suggestions for um, prompts that I could use. Uh, the lovely Anita, who is Gargarnets, um, suggested that I could, should have a prompt that is work on something that isn't orange. <laughs> <laughs> because I obviously I knit with a lot of orange um, which I thought was quite fun particularly as in my original set of prompt cards I had work on something that is orange so I thought it was quite fun so I've added that one in um, I've taken out one of my original prompts um, and then Zoe of Pins and Needles suggested a couple of prompts suggested um, working on a gift knit um, so I have put that one into my prompts for this month and she also suggested putting a card which says to frog a project. Um, I haven't added that this time because there's nothing really on my whips list that I'm unsure about. Um, everything on there I definitely want to finish. But um, down the line, um, if I get to a point where perhaps um, I'm overwhelmed with whips or there's a few things that I'm on the fence about, um, then I might put that in in future games just to um, give me the impetus to make a decision on um, any projects that I'm on the fence about. Um, so yeah I've swapped out um, a couple of prompts so the original prompts that I've taken out is um, I had one that said finish a charity make um, I'm kind of doing my charity makes in the background anyway so I'm taking that one out and I've also just got a generic prompt that says knit um, so I was going to be able to choose any kind of knit project so I've taken that one out for the time being um, and swapped in the knit something not orange and gift knit prompts uh, so yeah let's get on with the rolling and the picking of the projects so i've got my uh, super swanky box lid to try and keep the dice in a certain area um, i've got my set of cards and i've got my dice um, so let's get this going roll number one 18 and prompt 18 is <laughs> oldest whip <laughs> we had that last month so it looks like Ragnar is back on the cards <laughs> I'll chat more about the projects later roll number two is eight and eight is one of the new prompts that we put in um, so that is to, to make a gift knit which is perfect um, because that can be my mother-in-law's socks um, which means that I can put in an extra roll so I'm going to roll for five now instead of four So number four, card four is roll again. Oh no, um, I put that in to add an extra project. So it looks like <laughs> I'm making things hard for myself this month. Uh, so I'm going to <laughs> add one more thing to my whip pile, which probably means less progress overall for all of the whips. So uh, that takes me up to six rolls. This is gonna confuse the heck out of me, I think. <laughs> So this is number nine. Number nine is something orange. Yay, I can definitely work with that. Let's roll. And the next roll is 16. And 16 is socks. So uh, yeah, I can work with that, definitely. So that's my four rolls. I was gonna roll an extra one because I got the gift. And then I need to roll an extra one again. Number six, did we just have that? I should actually probably turn these this way because then I can see what numbers have come up. No, we haven't had six. And six is um, work from something from my 12 cast-ons. So yeah, I can definitely work with that as well. This is potentially the last roll. Confusing the hell out of myself. <laughs> uh, number one. And number one is newest cast on so the dice have spoken um it's pouring down with rain here at the moment so i apologize if you can hear the rain in the background but i don't control the weather <laughs> so i've grabbed my phone um i often talk about recording on my phone and i still record on my phone so um if you remember i treated myself to a new phone well a new second hand phone um, because I was having problems with storage on my old phone um, but then when we got this after a little while the sound um, had a few issues on this one instead of faffing around sending it back I decided to keep my old phone which I was gonna sell um, to kind of go towards the cost of this um, and so my old phone is now exclusively my recording phone 
Did you need to know that? I don't know. <laughs> it's Vlogtober. Anything goes, right? <laughs> right, so, um, the what projects am I going to put together with the numbers rolled? Um, so first off, we got 18, which is work on my oldest whip. Ragnar <laughs> gets to make um, its second chance appearance. Um, so this is my colour work shrug. Um, I won't chat too much about it because I talked about it in the last roll, the dice game, which I've already linked um, in a card above somewhere if you're interested in getting more detail um, I'm keeping this in this gorgeous bag um, that was kindly gifted to me by Pamela thank you so much Pamela um, I love this bag it's so roomy um, I've got the pattern book and all the yarn um, needles and I've got a um, magnetic colour work chart holder in this bag and there's still plenty of room um, so I'm actually going to make this the first project that I work on um, for the first week in October so that it actually does see some progress um, because the dice weren't particularly kind to me and <laughs> i.e they made me do an extra roll um, and because I have a few other um, commitments during October um, it may be that each of the projects I work on this month don't see as much progress as they did last month but that's okay so yes I am committing for the first few days in October to work on my Ragnar second roll was number eight which was one of the new prompts and that was do a gift knit which is perfect because I'm going to cast on the socks that I want to do for my mother-in-law and my mother-in-law likes more muted socks um I've made a, a few different pairs over the years now and she's commented that she likes the socks that kind of go with the clothes that she wears a bit more than the brightly coloured ones and um, so I purchased this skein of Regia four ply from um, D Sash from the lovely Sylvia um, and this has got greys and sort of beige and then kind of like a brick red in it and I really love this colour for myself um, but I think my mother-in-law will absolutely love this too I'm hoping with contrast heels toes and cuffs I can squeeze a pair out of this ball for my mother-in-law and then one for me also at some point in the future um, but I need to wind this up that's it's going to be the gift cast on the third roll was the roll again which means that I had to choose an additional project um, so instead of rolling for four projects um, I was rolling for five and because I was able to choose one of my kind of obligation knits um, for the last prompt the socks I decided to go for six rolls Does that all make sense I don't know just bear with me just go with it you don't need to understand it it's me <laughs> Um, so the next roll was number nine, and that is work on something orange. Easy peasy. Um, I am going to carry on with my weekender for that prompt. Um, the weekender is obviously multicoloured, but um, it's themed around orange coloured hand spun yarn. So I'm going to continue working on that in October. I don't have that project up here with me. It's in a big basket. Couldn't be bothered to carry it up for the purposes of this video. You've seen it before if you have watched the channel for any length of time. Um, and next roll was 16 and that was to work on some socks um, so I decided that that would be the perfect excuse to carry on with my dad's Christmas socks that project is living in this gorgeous um, Canadian moose bag from Frog Peak Creations and I'm knitting him these purple socks um, from West Yorkshire Spinners Yarn um, so mother-in-law socks need to be finished in October so I will work on those until they're done um, but at some point I will add um, a few more rows or maybe more depending on what time we get to um, dad's Christmas socks too. Next roll was number six and that is to pick something from the 12 cast-ons. Um, I actually have still quite a few options for that. Um, if Let me just quickly browse my uh, Ravelry projects. Um, so from my 12 cast-ons, I still have Waiting for Rain, uh, the shawl that I was working on last month, um, Pumpkin Ale, which is a cardigan. I've got my Vertices Unite, um, another shawl. I've got my normal people sweater, and I've got my Hobbit scarf, um, uh, which is using some yarn that I picked up in a kit when we went to New Zealand a couple of years ago. Um, normal people sweater is fairly close to completion I've just got the sleeves to do and the bottom ribbing um, Hobbit scarf is being knit on something like 10 millimeter needles so that's probably quite a quick knit um, Vertices Unite and Pumpkin Ale a little bit further away from being finished and then of course I've got my Waiting for Rain I think I'm going to stick with Waiting for Rain because I made good progress on that in September and I'm kind of in the groove with that pattern at the moment. I know where I am, it won't take me any time to kind of pick up that 
um, at all figure out where I am in the pattern uh, so yeah I think for 12 cast ons I'm going to continue with waiting for rain and then the last um, roll was number one and that is to work on my newest cast on now my newest cast on is my dad's socks um, I could double up the prompts but that's kind of cheating um, I mean it doesn't really matter this is my game it's just for fun but that's not really kind of like the ethos of the game <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to go to my next newest cast on so again I'm referring to my Ravelry um, and my next newest is actually the sleepover socks which is a lovely sock pattern from Caroline colourful creativity um, so let me just go grab those okay so that's super embarrassing can't find them <laughs> at least not up here um there's a i can't move my finger in the right direction in that sort of triangular cutout in the wall back there um i keep all of my whips but they're not there um so i'm thinking maybe they might be downstairs because i did grab them towards the end of the summer of socks cow thinking i might be able to add a few rows and then i never did so i'm keeping my fingers crossed they're downstairs in the living room they were the six projects from the dice roll and then on top of that i want to finish the dude i've got a crack on with my test knit shawl i want to start a crochet project and a project for our vlogtober knit along and of course i'm recording vlogtober videos editing uploading those every day working looking after the house and trying to get some rest and relaxation in October does have 60 days in it, doesn't it? <laughs> this might be a bit ambitious. I guess we'll see at the end of the month. Okay, let's get going with dice roll number one. Oh, yeah. I think I had a box lid last time. Oops. <laughs> Not a great start, Ange. Not a great start.